Radical. Hey, what's up, everybody? You remember that series I used to do, Rad Response, where I usually played some Shadow of Mordor in the background, uh, me taking on a lot of orcs, Uryx, whatever you call them. Worked pretty well, right? You know, I was slicing up them villains, and I would verbally slice up a lot of people that would dare speak to me rudely. I, I don't like rudeness. People would speak to me very rudely, even though I have only been guilty of being one of the best verbal entertainers on the platform. But people would come out of the woodworks. I think there's a term for them. Um, haters, I believe. Yeah, happens, you know. I mean, not saying that some of those people, I'm not saying that some of those people maybe just got angry that I spoke the truth on something about something, someone that they particularly liked a brand, a Xbox, PlayStation, you know. When I speak the truth, I do not care who gets bothered by it. My job is not to care and not to worry about the people who get a little bit triggered when I speak that truth. That's me staying true to myself. I know a lot of you are probably the same way. So what do you see in the background here? I will explain in a minute. But what brought this about, what brought me even about checking my numbers, which I generally don't care about. I'm one of the rare, U rare YouTubers that really don't care that much about their personal numbers. I'm here mostly for fun. I'm here to just express myself and I'm here for my online pals. That's always been the case from the very beginning to right now. I've never been... Uh, business focused on the YouTube channel outside of doing the very bare minimum to actually have the channel be monetized to make money on the channel. But it's never been anything more than just like just beer money on the side. But you see it in the background there, which I'll get to in a moment. I promise there's a purpose for what you see in the background. Rad response as I start talking about here, is something that I created uh, partly because I wanted to make use of my replies to these morons, these idiots, idiots, these trolls, these haters, these people that I just could not make any sense of the things they were saying to me. And a lot of times it was like the same person, just under different accounts. And I, uh, I just thought that I would create a whole series devoted to correcting these people. That came from me. Rad Response is me. I created that successful playlist. I created those successful uploads that many people stopped by and loved. But even if no one stopped by and loved them, it doesn't matter because for me, success is measured by how happy I am with how something came out. I'm not happy with how here lately my show off Saturdays have come out. I'm not. Not happy with it. I've had to just kind of, you know, punt those. Punt or bunt or, you know, do whatever you do in sports where you're like, I'm just not invested. Ah, you know, got to get rid of the ball. Ah, you know, I'm not looking to get anything. I'm not looking to get a home run. I just want to bunt it and then maybe the next person get a home run. Because Show Off Saturdays happens to be on the weekend, smack dab in the middle, smack dab in the ass crack of me planning my business, which is right now my current main focus in life, building my media selling store. That's a focus right now. Maybe it's not the right focus, but it's my focus. It's my choice. YouTube is not my focus. It's third or fourth, maybe fifth. Maybe it's top 10, definitely, but it's not. And it's never been my top focus in life. But people get it twisted. The haters get it twisted when they somehow think that YouTube is a big focus to me. That I tried so hard, so desperately hard to make showing off two sharp bookshelf speakers incredibly entertaining. I'm just literally grasping for things to talk about because I'm fulfilling my obligation for show off Saturdays. I'm fulfilling that 
obligation, you see? Saturdays, I'm showing things off on the table, sometimes off the table, sometimes on the floor. That's that's what it is. That's all it sh it's all it don't, don't don't expect to be wowed and amazed by some fucking speakers I'm trying to describe. I'm just picking random things up, man. <laughs> so it's kind of funny to this person who I'm responding to. It's kind of funny that, you know, you came by and left me all this crap and stuff. And I tried to be tried to be as nice as I could by trying to help you and say, listen, my getting angry with me is not you got problems, man. Getting angry with me is not your problem. You got to deal with your problems and then deal with your issues and don't miss don't misplace your triggered anger on me just just take that just just uh, imagine put that in perspective there's maybe some other people talking about bookshelf speakers that you're going off on maybe it's not just me i don't know What's your beef with bookshelf speakers and sharp? I'm guessing the guy maybe had an issue to where like he bought some and then they blew up because he had the volume cranked up at 10. You're just angry with the sharp company. I don't, I don't understand it. But sometimes people are just angry and they need to take their anger out on other people. Uh, you know, maybe you lost your job. Maybe, you know, your wife's boning somebody else. Maybe your best friend. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever's going on in your life, guy, you deal with it. But put it in perspective. You're on the Internet trying to say that I'm not successful, trying to say that all these things. I'm not going to mention the comments because they were stupid. Now we get to the background. Now we get to the background. OK, see this? <laughs> The numbers are important to some people. The numbers, my numbers are more important, apparently, to my haters than they are to me. You see, the lifetime. 3.2 million views. 211,000.4 thousand hours. Even, even as I'm saying these, it really doesn't matter to me. It's just numbers, man. It's just numbers. None of this in the background. I'll continue going under the numbers. Six over 6,000 subscribers, and over $6,000 in estimated revenue. Those numbers don't say anything about who I am as a person, how skilled I am as a commentator, nothing about that. What they do say, and they refute, is anyone that claims that I am not a successful YouTuber, I'm not a successful person on this platform. You don't have to like or dislike or love or hate me. You don't have to. But I think this basically puts to bed any doubt that I have not been immensely successful on this platform to this point, and I'm nowhere near done. These, these numbers are going to get higher and higher and higher. And damn, if I start to actually doing daily uploads again and actually getting invested, who knows how high it's going to go. Right now, I barely have any time for YouTube. And these numbers are still going up. So I'm successful. I have been successful. If that makes you angry, maybe because some of you would like to be successful. Maybe some of you will never sniff a fraction of these numbers. Then, oh, well, fuck you. That's not my problem. Fuck you. That's not my problem. I should make a T-shirt. A branded Radical Rick Entertainment t-shirt. Front would say, fuck you. And the back would say, not my problem. One last thing. One last thing. This person mentioned that I was somehow a sad loser because I had uploaded 3,000 times. And I'd only made a couple thousand dollars. Well, it's not just a couple thousand dollars. It's over $6,000. And if you're looking at it from just a time investment, 3,000 uploads on $2 an upload on 10, 15 minutes. I mean, just put this in perspective, guy, and everyone listening right now. If you could make $2 on 10 to 15 minutes on basically zero investment, I use a phone to record my voice. 
I use free plat, uh, free programs I got online. And all your investment is 10 to 15 minutes to make one to $2. That's not too bad. And I have fun doing it. And I've made some online pals. So that's not bad at all. That right there is $6,000 I would not have had in my bank account if I chose not to go down the path of YouTube. One last thing is, this is me not fully engaged. These numbers are a, right now in 2024, mostly a half-assed, distracted Rick. If I was fully engaged, these numbers would be a lot higher. If I was fire on, firing on every single cylinder, if I was putting everything that I had into YouTube, I would easily, easily be at uh, probably, what, six, seven hundred, eight hundred uh, million views. I would have, uh, you know, probably, uh, how many, how many subscribers does uh, Markiplier have? Probably that much, probably. And I would have done made like 15 billion or something like that. Probably, yeah, yeah. Because I would, what I would be doing is, I would be sleeping two hours a day. I would be uploading around the clock. I would have about 40 uploads a day. That's, you know, I would like sleep. I would barely eat. I would just be devoted to uploading commentaries. <laughs> I mean, there's people that do that. I mean, desperately, there's people that actually, believe it or not, YouTube is everything that they have in their life. But I hate to break the news to you, guy, and anyone else hating on me. The people I've met here, my online pals are important. You know, the Art Bells, the Captain Kirks, the Matt Trackers, you know, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. I'm not going to mention all the names, but all the people that have came by here and I talk to regular. That's cool, man. I like that. So if I'm having fun here, and this is honestly like a little bit fun, correcting this person. If I'm having fun here, I'm happy. I'm making money getting views, then, I mean, what, what's the problem? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know what the problem, I know what the problem is. Here's the answer to the problem. The problem is you, you fucking hater! How about you get a life? Quit worrying about my life, what I'm doing, and get yourself one.